Hi, my name is Mike and welcome to my shop. I think we can all probably fit in here. If those of you in the back can move up to the front a little, you'll be able to see better. Yes, that's it. Thank you. I needed a way to store my growing collection of Aloris style tool holders, like this one, that would keep them organized and within easy reach. What you see here is what I ended up making. Sure, I could have put them up on a shelf above the lathe, but for some reason that didn't satisfy me. Instead, I put them on vertical racks, each being no more than a few nails hammered into a board. But I didn't arrive at this design easily. My holders are AXA size, so I started by taking some precise measurements. I went to the library looking for ideas but none of the books there had anything to say on the matter. It was clear I would have to design my own storage solution. After working late into the night, a workable design still eluded me. Tired, frustrated, and perplexed, I decided to relax, listening to my favorite record album on my new headphones. Still, no new ideas were forthcoming. I became obsessed with the project, enduring sleepless nights and acquiring the haunted look of a driven man. Personal grooming cast aside, my shaving kit sat unused for days. Searching high and low for an answer, I called all the subscribers to my YouTube channel. Both of them. Finding no help there, I traveled far to consult the sages of the East but they were unable to offer me any guidance. My wife, sympathetic as she was, could not console me. On her suggestion, I enrolled in a Tai Chi class to calm my mind and discipline my body. And it was then that the solution came to me. All that was necessary was some scrap lumber and some nails. I found a couple of short pieces of 2x4 lumber and trimmed them to an appropriate length. On the bandsaw, I ripped them in half to a thickness of slightly less than 3 quarters inch, or 18 millimeters. For each AXA holder, two stout finishing nails spaced apart by 1 and 7 16 inches, or 36 millimeters, were hammered into the board at a slight upward angle, about 5 degrees. The slight angle and the small heads on the nails served to keep the holder from accidentally sliding off. Since I was fabricating three of these racks, I thought it a good investment of 10 or 15 minutes time to make a simple jig for drilling pilot holes at the correct angle and spacing for the nails. A small block of wood of the appropriate thickness made a handy gauge for driving the nails to the proper height. You'll notice I painted my racks, but of course, that's not necessary. Two screws hold each rack to the board behind my lathe. And that's it. Works great and could be adapted to other sizes and perhaps other types of holders. So, that's all for now. I hope you found this video amusing, if not useful. And, thanks for watching.